everyone, my name is Ankit Jaiswal. I am the founder of Tech My Learning Solutions. And today in this video we are going to discuss how students can clear B double easily. So for B double, there are certain uh, topics that I have written. Again, uh, DC, three phase, transformers, and DC machines. This video is according to the new syllabus uh, of 2016. And if you see in this topics, I have not mentioned AC because many students find it AC a bit difficult. And the questions that appear in the paper are a bit difficult also. It depends if you have uh, practiced a lot, you can still solve the sums of AC. But then, uh, these are the topics where you can score uh, very easily in BW. So let's get started. In BW, uh, for DC, there are few topics. Uh, first is basic history of law, mesh analysis, and nodal analysis. These three are basics for all these topics. So, uh, of law, basic history of law means ADL, ACL. Mesh analysis means uh, uh, you have to find the, the current uh, uh, through the loop. Nodal, you have to you know, consider nodes and find the voltages. Uh, so, this three uh, are the basics for this. And uh, generally, a question is seen on this topic also. So, you will be given a, uh, you will be given a question that in the other circuit, and you will be told to uh, find the current uh, across uh, one of the resistors and uh, using mesh analysis or nodal analysis okay there is a normally a fixed question seen on source transformation so in source transformation uh, as you know uh, there will be multiple sources and using one source at a time you have to find the current through a, uh, through a resistor as given in the question so normally a fixed question is seen on source transformation Thevenin theorem, Norton theorem and maxim power theorem again the basics of this are here only basic Kirchhoff's laws, mesh analysis, and normal analysis. Here you have to particularly apply Kirchhoff's laws uh, formula, not as uh, not as serum formula, okay, and or maximum uh, power transform formula depending on what is asked. So in the question it will be mentioned solve by Thevenin theorem or solve by maximum uh, node uh, 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 net or not as serum or it will be uh, find the maximum power transform. Okay, so depending on that, normally it is seen that there are two questions on this. Okay, one question is from here, and uh, there are one to two questions on this topics. So overall, if you do DC, uh, you can touch around 20, 25 marks very easily. This I am uh, I am not considering the option ones. If you select proper questions, around 20, 25 marks you can score in uh, DC. And on 40 marks paper is asked on DC, uh, 35 to 40. Last year, uh, in the last paper, uh, around 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 46 marks paper was on DC, but then that was with option. Okay. Uh, so if we don't consider the options, still you can attempt a paper of 20, 25 marks on DC. Now let's come to uh, also in this uh, in question number one. There can be questions on you know uh, state Kelvin theorem, state Northern theorem, state maximum power transfer theorem. So you have to remember the theorems also. So theorem statements or the circuit diagram, like you know, we have a circuit diagram for the Kelvin's, the same for Norton's, and you have to state the formula. So the question that can be asked on uh, like uh, state this theorems. Now coming to three phase. Generally, one question. On three phase, uh, is same question number one, where they will uh, simply then draw a phase diagram of star or a delta, or uh, basic current equation of star delta. So, uh, if you see the textbooks, uh, you know there are uh, there are certain uh, you know for three phase a star there is a phase diagram for three phase delta there is a phase diagram. So a phase diagram. Uh, you will have to, you know, uh, they will ask you to draw the phase diagram of either a star or a delta, or uh, they will, uh, you know, give a simple sum uh, based on uh, star delta, basic current equation of star delta, or they will uh, tell you to state the formulas uh, for current equation of star or delta, or any relation between them. Okay, uh, any relation between star and delta. Uh, so this question can be asked uh, in question number one for three marks, three to four marks. Then there can be a sum on uh, sum on differential power and calculation of star delta. Uh, different uh, different power calculation of star delta. So uh, like uh, uh, 
if you see there are different type of uh, powers uh, in the star and meter so there are three different type of powers so you will be told to calculate those powers uh, for any of the you know it will be mentioned in the uh, question okay, it's a star a star uh, connected circuit or it's a delta connected circuit accordingly normally a fixed question on two amp meter is seen either a theory where you will be told to explain the whole uh, two amp meter and then derive the equation like uh, uh, equation of power type cos phi they might tell you to derive that or the sum based on this can be asked uh, there was also a question uh, then the questions are measurement of three phase power for star or delta stated to advantage or equation of power factor cos phi derive the equation or uh, in the in the last paper it was like uh, in a three phase a star connected system a two watt battery with its current coil is in series with y line and pressure coil with y line draw a heat circuit diagram showing the above watt meter connection assuming uh, a lagging power factor draw the corresponding phasor diagram and derive the watt meter reading in terms of line voltage line current and phase angle so basically overall it was a star connected circuit where you no know, they have given how it is connected but then uh, if you see the books it is connected in that way only so the question was given in more elaborated form if you see you might get frightened like uh, what are they talking about but then that was a basic star connected circuit and then you just have to you know uh, uh, just derive uh, derive the equations uh, for two watt meter uh, as given in the textbooks and also they were they were asked about the phase angle so you you have to derive the cos uh, 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 power factor cos phi so a uh, ten mark question was asked in last last paper so around the in last paper there were only two questions for thirteen marks but then I think so there can be more questions this time okay it depends so uh, thirteen marks is the minimum that can come around one more question can come about come for seven to eight marks so around thirty to twenty marks can be fetched. From this chapter, at least 30 can be fetched from this chapter. Transformers a very important chapter for this syllabus because there are a lot of questions asked on this. So uh, questions that can come from transformer are unification of a transformer, basic sums on transformer. Uh, like uh, if you see, uh, we uh, like there are a lot of relations uh, of ratios also uh, like in primary and secondary terms ratio, and there are different formulas. So there can be basic sums on that. Uh, various causes and transformers. That very question can be asked on various causes of transformer. Or derived condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer. A question can be asked on this. SCOC test very important. Either a theory or sum is normally seen in every paper. So uh, what uh, what they will ask is uh, you know uh, in last paper there was a theory or uh, there was a sum that was asked for 10 marks on this SCOC test. But then, uh, you know, they might uh, tell you to even uh, write a theory for either SC test or OC test, how it is performed that way. So, once you do the theory, sums are very easy, it, it is directly based on theory. You might have to uh, take into consideration a lot of things. Like, uh, there are times when, uh, in, in the sums that you see, uh, there are times when uh, there are equations given as V1 by V2 in the sum itself. So sometimes V1 is greater and sometimes V2 is greater. Taking that in, into consideration, there are a lot of sums on uh, SCOC test. Do check it out. And I think so you can score in SCOC test very easily. So try to do that. Next, uh, there are a lot of questions on a phasor diagram of on low load or on load of transformer. So definitely a question uh, will always appear on this. Or they might say, uh, uh, you know, find the equivalent circuit of a transformer. So a lot of one question on phasor diagram for transformer will be asked in the paper. A bit, a bit difficult. A lot of like the answers are not properly available. I will try to give you the answers on this topic on my website www.thinkmind.com. Even I will have to you know find the proper answer for this, and I will try to give it to you the answer on this topic. Uh, so overall if you do this chapter, you can fetch around 15 to 20 marks 
uh, in the last paper there was around uh, I think so 20, 20 mark questions were asked on this topic. Uh, next uh, next and the last topic is, is DC machines. In DC machine it was uh, there, uh, the, it is not a big chapter, it's a small chapter and you should not skip it. Okay, the questions that can be asked from uh, asked from DC are principle of operation or construction and working of DC motor and DC generator. If you see the construction diagram of DC uh, motors and generator in the book, it is very big. But uh, see to it that you some you are somehow uh, you know, drawing the drawing that diagram once and twice. Once you have drawn the diagram, the theory is very easy. So once the diagram is done, I think so you can you know fetch around six to eight marks and the question is asked on DC generator construction and working of uh, DC motors and generators. So don't get frightened by seeing the diagram. I will suggest draw it once and twice by seeing the book. It is not that difficult. Once you have drawn the diagram, I think so you can write the theory. Once you read it, you can understand it very easily. Then a question can be you know classification of DC machines. So there are three four types of DC machines. Uh, you will have to state uh, state that and explain those. Uh, EMF, EMF equation of DC motor or generator and stated significance. In the last paper, EMF equation of DC motor was asked for around uh, six months. Uh, Stated significance were not asked, but then uh, I think you should study this also. In the previous syllabus, it was asked for around six months. So study this, and then uh, applications of DC motor. So uh, even applications of DC motor can be asked in question number one. So uh, this is the topic that I have suggested you can uh, do for BWD. Uh, see, DC is very easy. Three phase is again quite easy. So if you do proper with this too, I can uh, now assure that you can clear B double very easily. This is again a bonus chapter where few topics and uh, you can you know uh, you can uh, uh, fetch around eight to ten months on this topic. Transform is bit difficult, but uh, but then uh, it's not very difficult. Few topics like SCOC test, you know, in application of transform, the various process uh, derive maximum uh, condition of maximum efficiency. This basic sums are easy. The only Bit tough topic is phasor diagrams uh, for the transformers and equivalent circuit of transformer. So I will try to you know, arrange for the answers of, for this. Uh, but then if you do all the topics, I think so you can clear BW very easy. Uh, no need to you know uh, waste your time on AC if you are looking for only from clear, clearing point of view. And you just uh, go with this topics, solve numericals once, twice uh, on this because. No, you will be confident by seeing the sums like you know it. But then once you solve it, uh, that is the time when you know you get to know ki exactly you know the sums or what are the mistakes that you are doing. Okay. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please uh, like this video on your YouTube page. Please subscribe to our channel, Take My Learning Solutions, so that you get more updates. Also, now my next videos on chemistry and SPA will be based on Think My Notes. If you have not bought the Think My Notes, please buy it on www.thinkmy.com slash notes. The notes will be delivered to you in within two days. So uh, those notes are very good. It covers whole syllabus. Uh, sadly, we have not, we don't have notes for BW, but then we are trying our best to you know launch the notes for BW in the next semester. Okay. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you clear BW. Once you clear it, please do comment in the comment section that you have cleared BWD You're going through only this topics. Uh, that will make me more happy that you have cleared it. Uh, that's it. Thank you.